Hi, I am Naika Forutan. I am a social scientist, professor for integration studies and social policy at Humboldt University. And I am co-directing the Berlin Institute on Migration and Integration Research. What we already can see if we want to describe the diversity of Germany is that more than 30% of people under 18 in this country have a so-called migration background. So there you can see and spot the diversity. If you look at special cities like, for example, Frankfurt, you already have 70% of the children that go to school now with a so-called migration background. Germany described itself as a country of immigration or is describing itself as a country of immigration since 2001. All political parties at this moment have accepted that Germany is a country of immigration. They are dealing out laws on that and uh, there are different positions concerning the term integration. It has developed quite into a top-down process maybe. The government and the political elites already have accepted and described this country as a diverse country of immigration. But within popular attitudes, we still can find something that we describe as a emotional distance while there is at the same time a cognitive acceptance. And this causes a great ambivalence in societies because people are aware about the numbers. They know that this is a country of immigration due to total numbers. They know that this has been a large process and they also do know that in terms of modernity and in terms of globalization, migration, immigration and even emigration are parts of these kind of a new postmodern and global world order. But accepting that cognitively does not mean that this trickles down to the emotional level. And there we can still see that people still hesitate on describing this country as what it is effectively, a mixed and diverse and hybrid pool of a lot of people coming from all parts of, of the world. <laughs>